am doing a thing. I don't necessarily like the thing, but it's an interesting challenge. I am doing a challenge. I'm knocking this too much. Let's back you up just a wee bit. Okay. I am doing a challenge on myself. After the month of October, I did a thing where I used all sorts of witchy tools, did a bunch of spells, about 10 to 15-ish. Some were small, some were a little bit grander, but overall, a lot of spells, a lot of spells in the month of October. And so for November, all the way till Yule, the lovely 21st of December, I decided I was not going to use any tools in my spell work. One, to pull it back to self, to feel be myself being purely minimal, in a sense. As minimal as I possibly can be minimal, which is just me and like the energies around me and what energy I can pick up and what spoken words come out of my mouth, that is what I'm doing. I'm still like sitting at my altar and like I'll light a candle there as like kind of just a honoring of the deities, a letting people know, hey, I'm here, stuff's going on. But other than that, when it comes to actual spell work, I'm casting a spell for this, I'm doing this, this is happening, no tools. No cauldron, no incense, no candles, no sprays, no crystals, no pendants, nothing. Other than the pendant that I blessed back in October, which I've been wearing nonstop, where are you? Other than my pentacle, and then this one, which is just a constant reminder and pretty, I don't have any, I'm not using any witchy tools for spell work. And then it's brought up some very interesting challenges for myself. One, it's a lot harder than I thought because I am just overall going absolutely crazy because every time I go to light some incense or do something, I'm like, hey, like I need to start my cauldron up. I need to do a thing. I need to light a candle. I need to hold a crystal. I need to, like I reach so quickly for the tools that stopping myself is become very difficult. I have to be like, no, 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 no. Put it down, put it down, down Sam. And that is tricky. I never realized how much I really lean on them. And then I became a little worried. I was like, ooh, am I putting too much emphasis on the tool? Because it is just a tool. The magic comes from us, from our intention into the universe. That's my belief set, yes. So am I therefore putting too much emphasis on the tools now where I'm constantly reaching for them? And I realized a little bit, yes, because part of me also wanted to do the whole, just my energy going out into the universe. What spell can I create with that? And I've done two so far um, within this span of time and it was interesting because the first one I did I don't think worked all that well because I didn't feel a nice finality to it I guess because I normally light a candle or burn incense so when the smoke is gone the spell is done when the candle is blown out the spell is done when the crystal is put down or, you know, no longer on me all the time as a talisman, the spell is done. And I didn't have a physical marker to show the spell is done. And because I don't have necessarily an opening and closing of a circle, per se, then I didn't necessarily have a thing to say like, and we're done with this now, it is cast, it is gone, as I will it so mote it be. Like, all I had was those words, and sometimes that didn't feel enough, like it didn't feel like it finalized anything. So the first spell I did didn't really have any fruition, because I think my intention was like, I don't, I'm putting this out there, but I don't know if this is working. And that just, it probably just fizzled out and didn't do crap. The next thing that I really noticed is how much more attuned I am to, I guess, energy flows, tingles, warmth, changes, static electricity, that type of deal. I, in the beginning of my craft, was very focused on that type of thing. I would play with the energy. I would feel it like kind of like rotating in the palm of my hand. I would really focus in on it. I would notice these things a lot more. And I would, I don't know, play with it more, like feel like what's going on. I would just like put my hand outside and like feel what energy from the sky and things were coming around and take notice of the energy flow through my body, what's going on, try to get stuff aligned, stuff flowing properly, a lot more. And I stopped doing that more with the tools. And so realigning with just myself, because all I have is the energy flow, so to know the energy is moving and flowing, I had to like, connect in contact with it. And I kind of wonder if maybe that was really hindering me before with the tools as well, because, well, the energy should flow naturally no matter what, right? That should be happening regardless. And yet suddenly it wasn't. And so that is interesting. I'm feeling the energy more 
and going through it. Also, I've been really craving more to go outside in nature because I feel, well, if I can't have any other tool, if I can't have a candle, if I can't do a thing, blah, 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 then at least I'm going out into the actual nature, out I go, and feeling the wind and the breeze and taking in the energy of a moon or taking in the energy of, you know, just the chill in the air and of winter coming and of the darkness and feeling into that and knowing like all that stuff is like moving around and it is very interesting how I didn't pick up so much on the flows of energy in nature before. I would just kind of be in it and absorb what I could, but it was a little harder, but now I'm like hyper-focused on it. So I'm taking a lot more of that in, which is interesting. But oh my God, when the Gemini full moon happened on Thanksgiving, oh, it was struggle bus, struggle busing. All I wanted to do was to grab this little red candle that my sister had, cause we were at her house and I was lighting it. And I wanted to do it so bad and do a little spell under the full moon. And I was just like, mid light i'm like no you're not supposed to be using tools even though i wanted to so bad and specifically candles have been difficult because i just every other, every other tool i'm like no we're not touching that we're not doing that we're not using that put that down like i can catch myself right away but candles every time i see a candle i'm like i just want to light you into a small little spell i just want to light you into a small little spell why can't i just light the candle do a spell and so one thing i've realized is candle magic definitely my thing because i really like the candles but also that reliance on it is interesting. I'm playing with that a little bit. It makes me a little uncomfortable even more so to not have candles, even more. Like I'm like, I did it for a month, the whole month of November. I didn't touch a tool. I can do it now, right? I can cheat. I'm like, no, you said till Yule, Sam. You said to Yule. So that means no spells until Yule. On Yule, you can do a lovely great spell. And so I already want to cheat. I already just want to like use a little candle. And that's, that's very interesting. But I want to lean into that. I want to continue to push myself, continue to lean into that uncomfortability, continue to peel back the layers of why do I feel so reliant on such tools like candles and my cauldron. Which actually, I, I, I'm surprised I haven't wanted to use that more. Specifically my cauldron. But I haven't reached for it nearly as much. Where with candles, I really, I'm like, just let me have the candle back. I'm like, no. But even beyond that, the uncomfortability and feeling into energies and knowing all that, I think it's very interesting how much I have wanted to suddenly enter more gesture into my craft, if that makes sense. Um, I do have a particular gesture that I do to open and close a circle if I want to cast a circle, just because I feel it's more quick. It's something that I kind of like, I did like a whole grandiose thing marking that this gesture is me doing this casting a circle and then um, breaking it down. And then from that point on, the gesture will just do it for me. I don't have to do the whole big ritual with it. And so I kind of stopped doing that in general just because I don't feel the need to cast a circle always when I do a ritual or a spell. I only do it when I feel the need to. And so I've definitely been feeling the need to recently because one, it just, the gesture itself grants a physical marker to the beginning and the ending of the spell. Like I said before, I was kind of struggling with it. Is the spell over? Am I done? Is it like, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Is this working? And so the gestures definitely really helped me. I'm like, no, okay, gesture starts, gesture's done, and we've done the thing, and the energy is out, and boom, that concludes it, and I just feel, and then I can feel the energy just like leave me and go out into the ether. And then beyond that, one thing I've noticed too is how much I have been because I'm feeling into the energies with my hands and I'm being very like okay so if I'm like feeling stuff in my palms and the energy moving back and forth between them and then going through my body as it like moves through as and I'm feeling that I want to associate that with like a gesture I want to like take notice of me dropping my shoulders of me doing certain things of me moving my body in a way and that in itself has become part of the spell as I rotate my body and feel the energy and like attempt to maneuver in a sense that is way more a part of my spells so in the next half of this until yule one of the things i want to try with it is to actually add a little more dance and like movement into my spells because so far they've been very stationary for me they've been very like me like focusing my energy like this around a candle a stone something incense smoke or it's been like just me sitting at a desk saying something out loud or writing something and then burning it. And so I kind of want to try the whole like using my full body in a thing that would encompass the energy to cast it out because all I have is me for this length of time. Uh, I think that's one, naturally I think movement just has a certain oomph to it. Like it brings the natural energy of causing your body to move, I think triggers some things and that 
uh, along with like spoken word stuff right off the top of my head. I think it's been a very interesting combination that I want to explore more on the next part of December all the way till Yule because I think that is very ooh, it's got it's got some it's got some stuff there that I want to break into and peel apart more and see what I can find and gesture out. But one thing I have noticed for sure, I've already realized it's not even fully done with this challenge of no tools in my craft for this bit, is I love my candles, I need my candles, and I will never be the witch who is entirely using magic just from themselves and nature and that's it. I will always be the witch who has some sort of tool with them because, yeah, I like them too much. And it, do, it does, there's something about using a tool that immediately lets me bypass that moment of disbelief where a lot more doubt has crept into my mind when I'm casting the two spells I've tried so far during this time period. And I think it's it has done a little bit of their effectiveness with it. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to do a gestural spoken word spell thing in the month of December which will include something to do with, should I do money? Cause that's such an easy like monetary, like did I get the money or not as a result? Yeah, maybe I'll try that. And I'll see what the results are with the gesture and that. And hopefully that'll help me get into it more and see if it actually works. If not, then maybe I'm just the witch still at the level who definitely needs a tool just to make sure I can get my my mind and my intentions and all things focused in the right direction that I want them to go. Anyway, comment down below. Have you ever tried using a spell in the sense that you don't use any tools with it? It's just you. Um, is this a challenge you'd like to try yourself? Going a little bit of time casting spells with just you yourself and you? Yeah, that works. <laughs> anyway, I make new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and I will see you guys next time. Bye.